Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, but my channel name is RK Stumbling Bear, and that will figure into what I'm going to talk about further on in this video. But first, I want to talk about my November TBR. Now this month I have purposely put two nonfiction books on my list. And again, I'll explain why. Because I am primarily a fiction reader. I read that faster. I'm slow when it comes to nonfiction. So the first nonfiction book that I'd like to read in the month of November is The Prisoners of Geography. So this book talks about how the maps, in, or when we look at the maps of a country, the geography has played a lot in the history of the countries and how their geopolitical relations with those around them. I know a little bit about this because my husband has read it and he really enjoyed it, so I would like to read it. And I'm fascinated with history. My, my minor was in history as well, so I really do like history books. The second uh, nonfiction that I want to read this month is Digging for Richard III. Now this is actually a book that I received as part of a Goodreads giveaway many years ago, and I've never read it, but it does sound very interesting. I know it details the group that was sent to a parking lot in England to because some archaeological finds were found and they ended up finding bones, which they, I guess, believe is Richard III. And I'm curious to find out how they discovered that. Now, the big reason I am making sure I'm doing nonfiction, or I'm reading nonfiction this month, is because of how my brain works. And I discovered this in school. In order to write my school papers, I had to write fiction. But in order to write anything of my own, which I know I mentioned in my newbie booktuber tag that I writing is one of my hobbies, I have to read. So in order to write my fiction, I have to read nonfiction. And November is NaNoWriMo or National, I always think, I always say National November, but it's National no Novel Write Month where you try to write a 50,000 word novel. And this is actually gonna be my ninth year doing it. Originally, I was not planning to do it this year because of school and work and just overall stress. And then my husband and my sister talked me into it. And I'm very excited to do it. So in order to help those creative juices with the writing and fiction writing, I'm making sure I have nonfiction on my you know, reading list. However, I still have school reports that I have to write, so I still will be reading fiction. I'm just not as firm as, yes, this is what I'm wanting to read. So for that, I have some more options on the fiction side. This month, I have picked up Skip Beat, and I this is a manga I've started many years ago, and I enjoy, and I'm slowly working through it. This is actually volume 41, and I know my library just got in 42, and it has 43 and 44 in order, so probably, no, not probably. When those come in, I will read them because this is short. Like I read this last night. It took me about an hour, hour and a half. So manga is pretty easy for me to fly through and it just hits a different, um, I don't know, manga hits a different chord in my brain of what I, of enjoyment versus reading a fantasy book or reading a science fiction book. So I do very much enjoy manga and I tend to like the slice of life kind of teen manga. I haven't explored much more into the other types. So if you have any good manga that you really enjoy and you think I should read, please tell me down below so that I can find more manga. So another fiction book that I have on my reading list this month is Gods of Jade and Shadow. Now I've actually already started this. I just plan to finish it in the month of November. And that way, I will be caught up on all of the novel reviews for the nebulas. And these were the novels that were nominated nominated for this past award season. So written in 2019, and then the winner has already been announced, but I still wanted to read and make my own decision. And once I have finished that book, then I will do a video saying what my opinion is. I am reading the Will of Time series. My husband is rereading it and he wants to talk about it with me. And so I am slowly working my way through it. I'm currently on five, but I figure that once I'm done with five, I'll pick up six and we'll just keep going. I don't have the book with me because it's in another room and I just didn't want to go get it at this time. 
but Wheel of Time is another fiction book that I will probably be working on in the month of November. And then the other not or the other fiction book that I will be reading is Savage Legion. Again, my desk cover is still in the other room as well. Uh, this is a YA epic fantasy by Matt Wallace, and I just haven't picked it up again since I read the first three chapters, but I really want to because this is sounds really, really interesting, and I do like Matt Wallace's writing. So also for the month of November, so I'm not ready to do the author newbie tag, but I did think it would be fun in November to put out some short videos about my writing process and how I approach writing, especially with NaNoWriMo. And so I hope to have some short videos out during the month of November that kind of explains what I do and some things that I've learned. And that is all I have for you guys for today. I hope everyone is safe and staying warm. We just recently had our first snow of the fall and I'm a big baby. I don't like being cold. So please, everyone else, I hope that you are staying warm. Have a great day. Bye.